Uh, we're excited to have you on this show. And so uh, I want me. our audience to hear all about you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and your history and all of the stuff that you're doing in the fashion world and the art world. You know what? Um, I, I could just say that for, for the most part that I've just truly, truly been blessed to be able to do the things that I'm doing. Uh, I'm from a small town in Reesville, North Carolina. And I came to Georgia in 2001 to go to design school, even though I had owned a full service bridal salon uh, in Reedsville. Um, I wanted to have a degree. So I feel that my designing is actually um, a, it's a gift from God. That's what I always tell people. It's a gift because I've always it's something I've always been able to do. So, you know, and here I I came to Georgia and I flourished. Um, I went to Barter College, it's no longer uh, here, but uh, I have an award, every award that that school gave out, I have one. Wow. Um, I have, um, I think three awards uh, for ATL's Hottest. Uh, I have an award um, for the Archie, um, the Archie, uh, Archie Magazine Award. Uh, I, have a, an award for Power Couple. That's with my business partner. Um, I am. I'm a magazine uh, editor. Um, I did my. Oh, I'm a uh, actually a um, script. I wrote a script for a, a play called um, Keep the Dream Alive. So that was actually nominated for an award. Uh, I was asked as one of six women to write for Black History Month here. And so um, I did the Rialdo Theater where I costumed the uh, 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 show that they had there with Miss uh, Duque Amuru. Uh, it was the American Black Princess uh, at the Rialdo last fall. Um, I have Son of Sheba. Uh, that is up for four nominations. So I will know about that in August. And I'm just constantly working. Uh, my new collection is called New Life uh, that I'm working on. And it will, each piece will be named for a woman in the Bible. Wow. So th those are the things that I'm doing. You're doing a lot. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah. So you also have a Moscato, right? Oh, I bought it so y'all can see it. Look. Yo, oh, okay. I bought that. oh, yeah. That's your Moscato right there. Put it yeah. closer. Wow. Let's see. In Wait, the middle. Oh. We can't see it. Put it more. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Let's see when I'm getting one, girl. Oh yeah, we we gonna try that. Star and I. Yeah, we're gonna celebrate you. Okay, so hold up, hold up. So, uh, Tron, you're over there in Atlanta, right? That's right. Can, can Tron, can, Tron, you can you pick up? Can you pick up some uh, yeah. a bottle of that Moscato for us? I'll, 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 I'll send you the money. Get the I'll I'll go, yeah. Tron, All right. I'm in the Springs. There you go. Okay. You yeah. live where? <laughs> where? Where do you live? Band? Powder Springs. Oh, Powder Springs. Powder Springs. Okay. Yeah. So try if you if you drive around Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, you see his face he, on the on the bus seats. He he got billboards <laughs> with his name. He's a Atlanta, you know, you see Tron everywhere, man. So um, um, Tron's a big dude. Tell him so, Tron. Tell him Tron. Old school Saturday. <laughs> 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 Tron is the age of my children, so I don't see Tron. Oh, you don't see Tron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, my, my children are 44, 40, and 37. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. wow. You look at, well, well, happy Mother's Day to you. Yes. Happy Mother's, happy Mother's, happy Mother's Day. Day. Yeah, thank to you. you so much. And wow, what the heck um, are you doing to have kids? I, I need to drink some of that Moscato because <laughs> you, you got kids. What? Yeah, <laughs> you got kids my age. Yeah, so, I have kids all of your ages, so <laughs> you know what I'm like. Tron is a little out of my league. <laughs> By the time Tron <laughs> comes out, I'm I'm at home in the bed. <laughs> uh, <I'll put> <laughs> you you were mentioning TV though. Did, don't you have something right now that's pretty big going on on yes, Amazon? Um, I have. Why did I become a model? That is on Amazon Prime. Wow! So tell us big. about that. Um, I actually uh, last year for my sixty first birthday, I did a, a show called "The Models of Atlanta," where I dressed a hundred models, uh, and actually two hundred about two hundred models came out. 
And from there, we sort of did a spinoff where I was like asked to come and sit down and to host Why Did I Become a Model? And from that, it has just been, I mean, it has skyrocketed. And I have, I have our magazine as well. We have a magazine along with our show. Wow. Yeah. Even more than yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey, what, what's the title? We know the male model. That, that, that's your male model, actually. You, so you know, this is this is Michael Jones. He is the producer of Why Did I Become a Model. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah he, he, he's mm -hmm. actually no. I think he was in in Brun Brunswick today for the uh, rally. But oh, um, okay. he's, he he does spend a lot of time down in in Florida. Uh huh. Yeah. How so, exciting. You have so much going on. You have so many talents. You so, know, we have to just stay busy. You know, and I tell people all the time that the grind is every day and not every three or four days. Mm -hmm. So so with what's going on with the virus, how has that affected you? Well, like, I uh, had congestive heart failure six years ago. Mm -hmm. So I thought I've been in the house since uh, the first week of March. Uh-huh. And the only time I've been out is um, to go to the grocery store and to go out and walk the neighborhood. That is about it for me. So are you wearing the mask? Would I go out? Oh, yes. So d are you wearing one that you made or did no, you purchase you one? Know, everybody asks me that, Star, <laughs> always, are you making masks? I'm a designer and not a craft person, so I, you know, I I stay in my lane when it comes to uh, doing what it is that I do. Right. right. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But my new collection will have masks because I know that we're going to be wearing masks for a while. So the collection will have masks. I I'm actually paying somebody to make masks for me. So, you know, okay. I'm sowing, sowing seeds into somebody else. Okay. So, okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I, I'm looking forward to coming down, Star. Okay, we, we're looking forward to seeing yeah. you. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to working with you. Do you have any pieces, um, any of your designs? Ooh, okay, so I had to get off the laptop I got on my phone, so I'm going to let y'all see. I think that... Oh, okay. So this piece here, uh -huh. this, is, this is actually my gown that I wore for my 60th birthday. And wow. it matches matches my living room, so I keep I keep it up all the time. Oh, nice! <laughs> Gorgeous. Did you do yeah, that on? Hmm. Did you match it on purpose? To my living room. <laughs> to, yeah. To my living room. Yeah. Oh no, no! Pink is my favorite color. So oh. she just happened to be pink and uh, I was going to sell it, but everybody was like, you can't sell your 60th birthday gown. So I just put her on a mannequin and I put her in here. Now, this is one of the new pieces that I'm working on for the collection. Oh, I love that color. Oh, it's so vibrant. Yeah. yeah. So all the pieces with it will be the yellow, uh, white and the, and the different greens. And I'm I'm doing a lot of ruffles because ruffles are really thin. Mm -hmm. Love it. That's nice. nice. Yeah. So, I'm so exciting. I can't wait to see your new collection. And then and then obviously the references that you use from the Bible. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. And we've got to get you down here in Orlando. Yep, so I think she she froze up, but okay. just in time. Um and um, I didn't get to tell you, Van, but we'll hope that you continue to stay safe, healthy, and fierce. And we appreciate you being a part of the show today. All right. Thanks for watching. You can catch us live every Friday at 6 o'clock. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay fierce.